Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in comments below. Today we have a new worksheet and the name of our worksheet is called Prepare for Takeoff Place Value. I love place values. These can be lots of fun. What we're going to do is we're going to read the directions. It says, circle the cloud that shows the value of the underlined digit. So our airplanes, our helicopters here, they are all carrying a number. And what we're trying to figure out is how much the underlined number, or the number in blue here, how much that represents. It's not just the number, like this one, for example, isn't just eight. Because of where it is, we have to figure out how much that's worth. And we're gonna decide how much it's worth and we're going to circle it below in our clouds. So this is what I like to do for place value. I like to make a chart to fit everything in, okay? So I'm gonna start first and I'm gonna write out my number. And my number is um, 50,800. 28 okay so I'm gonna put this in my chart right here and I actually want to draw lines between each number to help keep me organized I like to keep organized so this is what I'm gonna do here and you can follow along with me our first number here is the closest to the end of our number this is the number on the right and this represents ones so this means that there are eight ones this number right here is our tens so I'm gonna write a T to represent ten this number is our hundreds place right here and then this is thousands so I'm gonna write a TH and this is um, ten thousands okay so I'm gonna write a T and a TH Okay, for 10,000. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out how much this number is worth right here. And this number is an eight, but it's in what place value? It's in the hundreds place value. So this number actually represents not only eight, but 800, okay? So I'm gonna add two zeros to the end because it's 800. And then I'm gonna find that number over here in my cloud. So I've got eight, 800 and 8,000. It's 800, so I'm gonna circle that number right there. Great job. Okay, let's go to the next one. Our next one here is on the helicopter, and again, I wanna plug this kind of into my little chart to keep everything organized, okay? So let me start with the number. The number is 41,200, okay? I'm gonna space those out just a little bit so I can draw the lines in between. So I'm gonna, remember, I'm gonna draw lines between each number here to keep myself organized, just like this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna label each one. So this zero represents the ones place. This is the tens place. This is the hundreds place. This is the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands place. And this is our 10,000s place, okay? So, what number are we looking for? We're looking for the four right here, and I'm gonna underline that just like they did below. So how much does this number represent? Well, this represents 10,000s. Now, it would be four, four in the 10,000s place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write this, I'm gonna write the four, and I'm just gonna put zeros behind the rest, okay? So if I'm gonna read this, this is 40,000, um, this is the number 40,000. So I'm gonna look for that number with one, two, three, four zeros at the end. So let's go over here, do we see it? We've got one, two, three, four. I think this is our number, but I just wanna make sure. This has two zeros, this has three zeros, so this was right, this was in the right place. And I filled this with zeros, even if I didn't know what this number is, each one of these places behind it could be filled with a zero to help us find out, unless it was in the ones place, because there wouldn't be any zeros, right? Once we get to 10, we just keep adding ones. So this is our number right here, okay? 40,000. All right, so let's look at the next one. Um, our next number, we're gonna plug this in here and I'm gonna write it out. I've got seven, five, four, seven, and two. And we're gonna put lines in between each one of these to help keep us organized. 
and this number is 75,472. And each one of these numbers represents a certain amount. So this two represents the ones place. This seven represents tens, hundreds, right here for the four, thousands, and this is ten thousands, okay? So, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna figure out what number are they looking for. They're looking for the seven, right? So we're gonna underline the seven. And you remember how we did this last time? We took the seven and then we filled the rest with zeros, right? So there's a zero here, and there's a zero here, and there's a zero here, and there's a zero here, which is the number 70,000. So let's come down here and see if we can find it. That's 700, 70, 70,000. So there we go, we're gonna circle that right here and that is the end of our worksheet for our place value so great job figuring out what each one of these numbers represent thanks see you next time bye, -bye. like us and subscribe to our channel find links to our apps and comments below